Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's your girl Little Latina coming at you with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to stay productive even with no motivation. And I just want to let you guys know that motivation necessarily isn't the thing that keeps you producing and keeps you productive. It's going to be consistency and dedication. And that's what's going to make sure that you are achieving and producing things and not being slacking and not having a lot of procrastination and actually achieving your goals. Consistency is basically the main thing and motivation obviously helps with that but motivation isn't something that we're going to have all the time. There's stuff that happens in our life that doesn't allow us to have all this energy and all this motivation and desire to do things but the consistency and the willpower is what keeps you doing things so this is something very important and learning just small ways to keep that consistency is going to add up in the long run and make a very big difference. Okay so the first thing that we can do to stay productive without any motivation of any sort is time blocking. Now time blocking is relatively simple, it's basically just setting a schedule, very similar to school, how you have your hours blocked out, so every hour you have a different class, so basically you schedule your entire day and this is going to force you in a way to stay productive and stay consistently working towards whatever goal it is that you're looking for. Also, whenever you give yourself time restraints to finish a task, and you're most likely going to finish it within that exact same time, so you're not going to feel the need to procrastinate or take longer than necessary. So for example, if I give myself a one hour window to clean my bedroom and bathroom, I'm most likely going to finish it exactly in one hour as opposed to just taking the entire day and procrastinating all day long to just finish those two simple things instead of just knocking it out and getting it over with. So that's a very positive benefit to scheduling your day is that you have everything booked so you don't have any time for things to bleed in because once that happens, your schedule's kind of ruined and then you have to basically restart that. Plus, it honestly just feels good to get things done. You might notice that when you actually achieve something, it feels really good to have it completed, and knowing that you completed it to the best of your ability feels very, very good. Accomplishment just makes you feel better, it boosts your serotonin levels. It's just overall a positive plus just doing simple things like that on a day-to-day -day basis is just going to make you more productive and healthier in general. So this is a good trait to have in just all aspects of life and not just in the sense of production and getting things done. The second thing you can do to stay motivated is to give yourself lots of tiny rewards. So for example, if I, like I said, finish cleaning my room and bathroom in that one hour window, I could reward myself by giving me five minutes of social media time or maybe eating a little bit of chocolate, something like that. Just a tiny, small reward to keep myself motivated. Basically, in a sense, you could say it's like a trophy for finishing the goal, whatever it is that you are accomplishing. I like to make sure that they're tiny though so I don't have to reminisce on that and I can get it over with and then start the next thing. So I basically get a treat and a reward for every task that I complete. So in a way that's kind of giving me some motivation to complete what I'm doing but at the same time it's keeping me consistent and it's not draining me. So basically your rewards need to be something healthy but also something that allows you to relax and calm down for a little bit so you can re-energize so you can go ahead and complete the next task that you have for the day and ultimately just stay productive for the whole time that you are awake. Now the third thing you can do is take your time and what I mean by this isn't take your time in the sense that you're spending the entire day and procrastinating. What I mean by this is don't rush what you're doing. So for example, we're going to be doing the cleaning the bathroom again. If I have a very set window to clean my bathroom, I don't want to rush it because that will ultimately make you feel very stressed and stress is not something that you want, something your body rejects. So if you keep constantly making yourself feel stressful when doing basic tasks or doing tasks that you need to Complete, your brain is just going to associate production with stress and then ultimately you're going to want to avoid that so try to allow yourself to be relaxed in situations where you're producing so in times when you're cleaning try to make it a very relaxing environment where you're not going to necessarily feel stressed out so take your time be meticulous if you need to just try not to make anything stressful Alright, now this fourth thing is a little bit more personal to me. I'm not sure how helpful it will be for everyone, but I find personally making things aesthetic helps me to achieve my goals a lot more than they would if it was just very mundane and boring. So for example, cleaning the bathroom again, there's nothing really 
fun or glorious or cute about cleaning a bathroom. It's very gritty, very dirty, not something that most of us probably enjoy. But just taking the time to make something aesthetic, at least in my world, helps me a lot to feel more motivated and have more of a desire to finish and achieve the goals and things that I just need to get done for the day. So making tasks like that more visually or audibly appealing, it definitely makes me more, more motivated and gives me more of a desire to actually finish that goal. So you could do something like lighting a candle, you know, good smelling candles can definitely make it smell good, make you feel a little bit better. The warmth of candles are very aesthetic in nature. You can play some calming music, you know, maybe some piano, maybe some lo-fi music. I find that music also sets the mood, makes things a lot more chill and a lot more enjoyable. You know, just hearing the sound of the cleaning isn't necessarily the most motivating of sounds. Also, when I clean my bathroom, I just like to pretend that I'm cleaning some like lavish palace or like someone like that. It just helps me pretend that what I'm doing is like a lot more cooler or more significant than it actually is because perspective is literally your entire life. So if you can perceive something as gritty and dirty as cleaning a bathroom to be something that's cool and aesthetic, it makes the process so much more enjoyable. And I'm telling you, when you make things aesthetic and you feel and actually think that what you're doing is cool and fun to do, it makes that process so much more enjoyable and so much more easier to get done. And you'll notice that by doing these things and by thinking these thoughts, it'll just make your day go by a lot better and a lot faster and you're going to be a lot more productive just based off of something as simple as changing your perspective. And the last thing that you can do definitely, definitely helps quite a bit is to get good sleep. The majority of the time we are, don't have motivation is because we don't have energy. Where do you get energy from? You get it from sleeping and sleeping good. Please guys, try as hard as you can to actually get proper sleep. Some tricks for me that help me go to sleep is intermittent fasting. Also getting blackout curtains or getting something to put over your eyes when you're sleeping is going to increase your sleep quality. It allows you to go into REM sleep, therefore you're not going to be waking up a lot during the night and you're going to get a lot more sound quality sleep and that's going to result in you getting more energy. And trust me guys, energy boosts motivation and energy kind of breeds motivation and it just helps a lot. It makes you more happy and it just makes it a lot easier to want to achieve goals and be productive. But with that being said, those are just the five simple things you can start implementing into your life to become more productive even with no motivation at all. I'm telling you guys, these things are simple. Probably doesn't seem like it makes that big of a difference, but it really does. And I could say from my own experience that implementing all of these things together on a consistent day-to-day -day basis allows me to achieve way more than I ever was before. Now, with that being said, if you guys found any value from this video, don't be shy and go ahead and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it and do a boost this video on the algorithm so others will have the chance to see this video and possibly learn something new. But thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a beautiful day.